check this one before we get on. the corner of Glenwood and Lunt in Rogers Park. Um, you just heard about that great series of uh, side project theater companies uh, sets about, oh, I love it, you know, love thy neighbor till it hurts. Stories about the hood. Stories about the hood. Um, choosing to be here. So, a um, couple of announcements. You know, the uh, participatory budgeting has begun in the 49th Ward, so if you haven't made it to one of those meetings, uh, the neighborhood council uh, assemblies where you get to say what you'd like the money to go to. It's not over. Passion Park is this Tuesday, the, October 23rd. Willie White Park Fieldhouse is uh, Wednesday, October 24th. St. Ignatius Church will have a meeting on Thursday and then again uh, next week. So if you want to look at participatory budgeting uh, and the 49th Ward um, net uh, webpage, right? What do you want, Michael? I want to get going with Salvatore. All right, all right. This guy, we need to warm him up because he's heading to Antarctica. And yeah, uh, what is up with that? Some of you remember Salvatore showed up. Uh, he's doing a, a documentary on a Lakota medicine man. And uh, it was really, he did sort of throw in that he sometimes goes to Antarctica. And then when I, he and I were talking the other day, he let me know he was going again. And... I said, well, we better get you on the show. <laughs> and, uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff I don't know about glaciers and ice sheets and all that stuff, but he's heading to Pine Island Glacier. Fill us in, brother. Uh, Pine Island Glacier uh, is a, it's a large glacier. I haven't learned a lot about it. I'm going to be the camp staff. I will be cooking, you know, on two Coleman stoves for about 15 scientists. Um, and though I have a degree in geology and have done a little bit of glaciology, I, I don't know the project yet. But um, uh, it'll be a great opportunity. We'll be there six weeks. I looked at the, the map. It's between these two huge crevasses. I do know that the study is uh, related to uh, glacial uh, global warming in that um, he is the foremost expert on uh, grounded ice sheets, I believe. Who's the scientist? The, uh, Lynn Shirt. I don't even know his name yet. Glenn Glen Jimmy, so you're signed up to go off to the... How cold does it get over there when you're um, going to be there? It, it'll be... Uh, usually when I, when I go into my camp, it's about 40 below uh, at the beginning of the season and about 30 to 40 below in the end of the season. Is this... Uh, so this is a repeat visit, it sounds like. Not to this camp, but I've done uh, three seasons at Seipel Dome Camp. Also uh, in Antarctica. Yeah, also in Antarctica. Oh, man. And have done, I think, oh, I don't even know, six seasons in uh, so, uh, so you caught McMurdo? You caught the virus. You got to go back. Huh? I, I did. It was huh. very strange. You know, I've been doing that other documentary and uh, uh, ran out of money, as, as documentary filmmakers do. It'll come around. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so I started looking into, you know, waiting tables and bartending and all that kind of thing. And, and I, I checked the website and... Actually, a, a very coveted position, uh, camp manager on a, uh, an active volcano, Mount Erebus, came up. So I put in for it and, and called, you know, friends who are, will be my boss, my boss's boss. Uh, and uh, they said, well, you could have had that if you were a week, you know, a week ago, but I, you know. It's but we've got, this other, we've got this other thing, and, and I thought it was just incredible. They will huh. be drilling into uh, what's called the floating part of the ice sheet. Um, and they have been, uh, since it's been warming, these floating parts have been uh, thinning catastrophically, out. no, some catastrophically collapsing. Yeah. So um, it's no problem as far as water levels um, if it's floating, but then what happens is they, they act as kind of a cork for the rest of the glaciers, and um, the, uh, it speeds up the, the grounded parts. So it will uh, inevitably, if those keep happening, it'll lead to change in ocean levels. So, and, and this uh, scientist, he's, he's uh, the foremost expert on this uh, type of glacier and this, this catastrophe. So, so let's, uh, let's pretend we're already there. Uh, do you, uh, you <laughs> in a tent? 
yeah. loosely, and you say, okay, I'm going outside today, and you go out and check it out. Is there sun? Is there? Is it dark? It's it's sun all the time. Uh, 24. Yeah, I've done yeah. one winter, but there's no uh, field camp, field work in the winter anywhere that I know of. Uh, maybe the Russians do, but they're they're, they're kind of intense. Yeah, they're <laughs> <made> <laughs> cold. <laughs> but um, they broke the back uh, of the German uh, yeah. army in the middle of the winter yeah, one time. Yeah. They they did a good uh, job on that. Uh, thank you. They, they and you can tell why when they come back to McMurdo. I mean, it's amazing. They spend uh, <laughs> an entire year or two at uh, you know Vostok is kind of like a field camp. So we're going outside Yikes. today. Yeah. And uh, when, uh, but you're staying and you're going to cook breakfast. You got a uh, big tent. You got a it's, you yeah, it's an a, igloo, a hut. What it's a big tent, uh, you know, pr I think about 20 by uh, 12 feet, and I'll have two Coleman stoves, enough for two Coleman stoves. You stand up, you walk around, uh, there'll be tables. There'll be two tents where, where I, I work and, and get it done, and then right next to it they'll eat, uh, you know, in a different tent. Um, and yeah, it's really, you work outside a lot. I mean, uh, you yeah. keep the food warm when you move it from one tent to the other. <laughs> it's covered. Uh, yeah, you cover it. You, <laughs> I, you know, I haven't figured out the logistics of cooking uh, for well, 15 people yet. I want to know what yet. you're going to be cooking, because you don't oh, have a I, bunch of hens there. You you, don't have, wait, wait, I'd like to get back to global warming. I know Michael wants to know about the cooking. I want to know about the food. <laughs> and then I'm going to ask him, surprise. I want to know what he's going to wear. What do they wear? Is it Patagonia stuff? Or you got something else? <laughs> Who's the best? Who makes the best cold weather? Other gear. Because as an older guy, that's Something what I want. North just, face. just for Chicago. I don't know who makes those red parkas. They're ugly as hell. The Italians come through and they look good, but uh, ours are <laughs> Italians. Uh, ugly. Always that ours, style. It's amazing when they come through. I'm like, you oh my those God, they're black shoes. <laughs> you got little patches. <laughs> <or something. laughs> yeah. uh, Italian leather. I'm glad you're learning so much about global warming today, audience. Uh, well, that and fashion on Antarctica. You can, um, if you, if you uh, Google Pine Island Glacier as well. Uh, uh, that these projects, uh, he actually is uh, funded by NASA, uh, so it's a NASA program, and it'll it'll pop up, and you get a, two or three good pages um, uh, that that will explain what he's doing and and uh, uh, how he fits in. Most of global warming studies, if if you think about it, and all the scientists that I've met, um, they do one little part. You yeah. Know, they, uh, yeah. There, there's very few scientists that that will uh, that uh, come out and say that. Well, then come up with a theory together. There was, uh, you know, you had to put a lot of different things together because climate is a huge variant piece, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. subject. Mm -hmm. and, Multivariant, um, as he said. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like so, the scientists said. So there's, there's an, you know, an incredible number of things to look at. And, you know, a good 20, 30 years ago, one or two particular scientists said, put a few of these pieces together. Then they started drilling in, you know, uh, into the uh, ice cores and, and figuring out how to date, how to figure out how much atmosphere. Only 20 years is, ago? Was that the beginning of, of real uh, scientific tracking? Of I, I, it's probably a little bit before that. Probably, yeah. Um, oh, they've been uh, tracking uh, weather for about 100 years, or the temperature, you know, so they have right. a lot of data on it. On it but actually, um, but really... But the notion of... Where is this going? Yeah, yeah. Well, Last 25 to 30 years, Some you think? of the pieces together and saying, I think we're... Uh, Melting. I think we're warming. Right. And I think that we... The second step is, I think that human beings are causing, causing part of it. Because we are on a natural end of a, uh, an ice age, actually. So there is a certain amount, amount of this, uh, but the rate is now pretty well established that we are exacerbating it by... You know, uh, probably 30%. You think, you, can, Rom, you think Romney believes that? <laughs> In reality? I, I doubt it. I doubt it. Uh, you know, um, I'm not he sure. can tell Salvatore is a scientist by the way he um, uses adverbs. <laughs> you, you know, mostly by, you know, that it's caused partly by us. Yeah. And, that, uh, well, and, that, and that there is a cycle that this is what people argue about. Yes. You know, folks say, come on. You know, 50 and years ago, it was this blah, right. blah degrees, you know, it's a cyclic thing, we'll swing back again. Yeah. And what you're affirming, and what I, we've all been reading is, yeah, but this cycle is a little different. Yeah. And we know how much oil <coughs> we've burned in the last 100 years. That's another, yes. that's another thing. And how much carbon that entails. We know how many trees have cut, you know, how many acres of trees we've cut down. Right. Uh, we know these things, so we we can actually put those things together. Put those two things together, and one of the the, the I guess the frightening thing for uh, to think about is that we have as much oil still in the ground to pump 
as we've pumped already. So we've peaked. We'll never uh, pump any more oil than we, we did, I think it was five years ago. Hence peak um, oil. Peak oil. Um, but what that means, and I don't hear a lot of people talk about it, is that it will, that means that we have as much carbon to put up into the atmosphere as we've already put up. So, and knowing, knowing people, they'll do it. They, they're going to do it. Um, and, you know, there are, there are ways to, uh, you know, how fast we do it, that will affect will affect it and how many trees we plant how much how many we how much of that carbon we yeah. can lock back up into the carbon cycle well you guys are pushing the science i uh <laughs> this would be science are, you, are we back there, to fashion no we're not going to talk <laughs> fashion we're going to talk uh there are no animals no mammals not where it will be there, because i only... just saw this movie the grays i don't know if you saw there was a, <laughs> a plane crash and these wolves. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Guys, was it, it fiction? It was, well, it's probably fiction. It was like, <laughs> it was really cold, though, watching the movie. They're out in the cold, and these wolves were coming to get them. And eventually there was a standoff between uh, whatever that actor's name is. Michael uh, likes to weave uh, you know, yeah, fiction a lot of and things. reality. But, uh, you know, well, I, I, do, I, am, I am interested in knowing what it's like for a group of, uh, are there men and women both? Yeah, there, there should be. I, and, uh, you know how many people there will be? Uh, it, it's called Pig Drill Camp. Uh, there will be 15 there doing the drilling out on the ice sheet, and it's about 50 miles away from the Pig Main Camp, which will have about uh, Pig, 16 P-I-B-G. people. P-I-G, Pine Island Glacier. Uh, okay. So Pig. So uh, I oh, call back myself. back to Pig now. <laughs> yeah. And just, so there's 15 and then another? Uh, I think it's another uh, 20, 25. So you get to know people a lot. You do a lot of talking at night. You hang around. Do people drink down there? Do they bring oh, yeah, anything yeah. to alter your consciousness? And I'm a Scotch man, and uh, <laughs> I, uh, I will go to this. You're going to uh, bring any lights night. to grow anything? I mean, what's going to happen? Uh, that happens in the wintertime. And I still want to know what you cook for, for breakfast, for oh, lunch, I for will, dinner. Uh, and you, you have all the supplies there. Yeah, the supplies come in, and I was very good at, at getting... Um, uh, when I put my food order in, uh, doing it right after a big camp, you know, I won't be able to do it this time, uh, so that when you, you have duck breasts and, you know, the, the big 20, 30, 40-person camp has just ordered four or five cases of it, which is maybe two or three meals, uh, I would order two or three or four cases of the duck breast or the, you know, uh, snow crab legs, and, it, and the kitchen wouldn't look very much at it, so I would, I would get very good stuff. I don't know what I'll have. Uh, Are you deal. flying on a big plane? Is there is a, a, like a, a tarmac of some yeah. sort? Do you use uh, helicopters? They now fly into the, the put-in will fly uh, a, a C-130. So they have skied C-130s um, that will, will fly into the, the glacier to the main camp. And that's, uh, that's the hub. And then they're going to have helicopters. Uh, they're going to fly in a helicopter in the C-130, assemble it, and this... Uh, the drill camp is 50 miles away, and they'll service uh, us there. So, Salvatore Consalve, you're about to have yet another adventure on Antarctica. Um, how long since your first adventure on Antarctica? 2000. Uh, so it's been yeah. 12 years yeah. of yeah. you just playing, you say, playing in the snow the and ice. Yeah, year nine. This I is could handle nine, the so. cold a lot better 12 years ago than I do now. <laughs> you know, so, it, it, uh, Maybe it comes when you get a little older. I'm I'm 50. I'll be 50 this year, and and uh, spring, it's a young man's rooster. young man's game sometimes. I, pre- I predict you'll be uh, doing your your expeditions on I don't know Greenland in about five years. Oh, and Greenland, you a couple have a years. Way yeah. People can stay in touch with you while you're there. Yeah. Uh, well, we have a Kickstarter campaign going uh, oh, wow. that I wanted to talk about. It, it kind Briefly. of a uh, uh, yeah. So we have Kickstarter the Sydney Has No Horse Kickstarter campaign. You can check that out and look, uh, check out our website uh, through all the, everything's there. We have a Facebook, uh, you know, you can check me out on Facebook. It's a documentary in progress. We'll check that website out. And, I'm, and I have one for deep, called Deep Field Antarctica. So that's a... Say that again, Facebook. Deep? Deep Field Antarctica. And, uh, and that's the name of the other documentary I'm working on. So, uh, well, we're going to see you. You leave when? I leave the 25th. So I leave Ooh. Thursday. Yeah, it's coming up. I'm going crazy. Did trying you to vote go. already? I, I'm going to early vote, uh, 22nd. Yeah. All right, brother. Yeah. So are you in, yeah. are, you're in this ward? Do you live in this ward? Uh, no. I okay, live you know in where Cicero. You, you, oh, okay. Yeah. You know where you go to vote? All right, South yep. Turkey, okay. Salve, we're going to have you on when you come back. And we Excellent. hope you, you're really uh, 
You have a lot of stories to share. Well, yeah, hopefully great. all the pieces on my body. Thanks for helping <laughs> us out with the videography today. Uh, so if you want to look that up again, Salvatore is spelled S-A-L-V-A-T-O-R-E, Consalve, C-O-N-S-A-L-V-I. And one of his websites, well, Sydney Has No Horses. Uh, what was the other one you said? Kickstarter. Kickstarter, yeah. yeah. Check out that campaign. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Ooh, good luck. Okay. Great Thank adventuring. Thanks so much. Uh, we're going to take a short musical break, and we'll be back with our pal Don Rose. We're going to talk about the upcoming election. And a few more announcements. You're listening to Live from the Heartland, WLUW 88.7 FM, Chicago Sound Alliance.